Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today we will learn how to solve equations which have linear expressions on one side and number on the other side. Let us now solve exercise 2.1. Okay, solve the following equation. The first problem we have here as x minus 2 is equal to 7. So we have to find the value for x here. Okay, so check between the variable and this number we have subtraction. So when this number transpose the other side, negative 2 will become positive 2. So x equals 7, just take down the number first. We are transposing negative 2 to the right hand side, so it will become positive 2. So x is equal to 7 plus 2, that is 9. Let us now solve the second problem. y plus 3 is equal to 10. So y is the variable here which we have to find the value for this. So you, we will transpose positive 3 to the other side. So it will become negative 3. So y equals 10. Positive 3 shifted. It will become negative 3. So y will be equal to 10 minus 3. Answer is 7. Look at the third problem. 6 is equal to z plus 2. So z is the variable here. So I have to find the value for z. So this number we will transpose to the left hand side and take. So positive 2 when shift when transposed to the left it will become negative. So your 6 will remain here. Positive 2 we have transposed it will become negative 2 will be equal to z. So if you want we can solve it this way also. We can keep the variable either in the left or if it is in the right hand side let it remain in the right. You shift the remaining numbers. So 6 minus 2 will be 4 is equal to z. Now I have solved all the problems here in one line but in your notebooks you solve it one below the other or maximum two problems side by side you can uh, solve it. Let us solve the fourth problem here. So x we will keep it in the left hand side only. Copy here right hand side what number we have 17 upon 7. So we will be transposing this fraction that is 3 upon 7 to the right hand side. So this is positive so when transported it will become negative 3 upon 7. So x is equal to if you check the denominator is common denominator same denominator so we will write it only once. So it can be subtracted directly 17 minus 3. In case the denominators were not same then uh, we would do LCM here to get the common denominator. So 17 minus 3 subtract you will have 14 upon 7. Further, we can still simplify this number. Okay, 7 and 14 uh, is divisible in 7 table. So 7 ones are 7 twos are. So x is equal to 2. Let us now solve the fifth problem here. We need to find the value for x. So let us keep that x here. And what is there in the right hand side? We will copy that. Now you see here between 6 and x, we have multiplication. So the operation used between 6 and x as the 6 multiplied by x we get 6x. So when this 6 transpose the other side it will become it will get divided divided by 6 that is remember this 6 will be transposed and it will move in the denominator. So 6 and 12 can be cancelled 6 ones are 6 twos are. So x is equal to 2. In the sixth problem we have t divided by 5 equals 10. So we have to find the value for t. So you write that t in the left hand side and in the right hand side you have 10 here. So if you see between the variable and then this number we have division. So when this number transpose the other side okay, from the denominator it will move up and division will now become multiplication. So it will be multiplied by 5. So t will be equal to 10 5s are 50. Let us now solve the seventh problem. 2x divided by 3 equals 18. So 2x will be equal to 18. This is your first. You copy down this numerators here. 3 which is there in the denominator we will transpose to the right hand side. So see here 2x is divided by 3. So division will now become multiplication. So 2x will be equal to multiply 18 3 is a 3 8 is a 24. 3 1 is 3 plus 2 5. So now I need to find value for only x. So what is to be transposed from left hand side is 2. So 
so x is equal to 54 so between 2 and x we have multiplication so when transposed it will become division so 54 divided by 2 cancel it out further 2 ones are 2 twos are 4 carry 1 2 sevens are 14 so value of x here is 27 let us now solve the eighth problem 1.6 is equal to y divided by 1.5 so now here the variable is in the right hand side so let it remain in the right only so 1.6 equals y okay so what you have to transpose here is 1.5 we will transpose to the left hand side so if you see between the variable and the number we have division so when transpose it will become multiplication multiplied by 1.5 so you multiply uh, 16 and 15 you will have answer as 240 is equal to y so check after decimal uh, after decimal point we have one number here and one number here which means total two numbers after decimal place so from left we will move two digit to the left so one two so your point will come here if anybody doesn't know to multiply decimal numbers then you see here 1.6 multiplied by 1.5 5 6 are 30 carry 3 5 1 are 5 plus 3 will be 8 6 1 are 6 and 1 1 are 1 so we will have 240 so after point one number here one number here so 1 2 point will come after 2 that is 2.40 you can even write it as y equals 2.4 so this zero is not required okay let us now move on to the ninth problem so 7x you will transpose negative 9 to the right hand side so we will have 16 plus 9 so then 7x will be equal to 16 plus 9 we have 25 so x will now be equal to 25 transpose 7 to the right hand side so it is 7 and x uh, i've already told you when you have a number and a variable together they are multiplied so when transpose it will get divided so x is equal to 25 upon 7 now both the numbers are not divisible further so we will keep that number like that only let us now solve the 10th problem 14 y minus 8 equals 13 okay so uh, we have uh, this variable with along with 14 so we will place it in the left only transpose negative 8 to the right hand side so we will have equals to 13 when this transpose it will become positive 8 so 14 y equals add 13 uh, plus 8 will be 21 so y will be equal to 21 what will happen to 14 when transpose the other side now it is multiplied here so it will now become division divided by 14 so 21 and 14 is divisible in 7 table so 7 2s are 14 7 3s are 21 so y equals 3 upon 2 let us now solve the 11th problem 17 plus 6p equals 9 so uh, 6p we will keep it in the left hand side only equals 9 what is to be transposed from left to the right it is positive 17 will now become negative 17 so 6p equals plus into minus is minus 17 minus 9 is 8 and then sign of greater number which is the greater number here 17 is the greater number and what is the greater number sign negative so bring it here so p will be equal to negative 8 transpose 6 it will become divided by 6 so check now here 6 and 8 is divisible in two table 2 3s are 6 2 4s are 8 so p equals negative 4 upon 3 so similarly you write it in your notebook neatly uh, two problems side by side is fine but don't make it too much congested on your notebook 
let us now solve the 12th problem x divided by 3 plus 1 equals 7 upon 15 now uh, we ha we know that wherever we have variable that term we have to keep it in the left only uh, so this we will keep it in the left and the term and the number what is there in the right hand side copy that what is to be shifted from left to the right it is 1 which I have to transpose isn't it so positive 1 will now become negative 1 ok so x divided by 3 equals now see here denominator we have no number meaning it is 1 in one of the problem we had seen when we had common denominators we wrote it only once and then we subtracted further but now here the denominator is not same so what do we do we either cross multiply or take up the LCM since it is uh, just one here we can directly cross multiply that is this 15 will be multiplied to 1 and then this 1 will be multiplied to 7 and then 15 ones so let's do that 7 ones will be 7 then 15 ones are 15 15 ones are 15 so we have got the common denominator 15 so x upon 3 equals plus into minus is minus 15 minus 7 is 8 sign of greater number that is minus upon 15 you need to now find the value of x here so what you will have to transpose to the uh, right hand side it is 3 so since it is in the denominator it will go up in the numerator and it is divided so it will get multiplied so x equals negative 8 multiplied by 3 upon 15 okay so this 3 we have transposed the other side so if you want you can multiply 8 3s are 24 that will be negative 24 divided by 15 and then cancel it out further or 3 and 15 can be cancelled in this step only so I think this will be better 3 1s are 3 5s are so x equals we have negative 8 here that is 8 1s are 8 and then we have 5 remaining if not this way then maybe from this step you could do it this way also that is we had got x is equal to negative 8 multiplied by 3 upon 15 right so if you didn't want to cancel here then you could multiply 8 3 is a 24 minus into plus will be minus upon 15 and then you cancel further that is 3 5 is a 15 3 8 is a 24 so you will have negative 8 upon 5 so you see which way you find easier you go by that method so today we have learned how to solve equation which has a linear equation on one side and number on the other side. That's all for today. Thank you students.